setup to what you're used to seeing. I know it's scary, but we basically have a new song right now, a new song by Falling in Reverse, and I knew, I know I had to react to it because, as you probably don't know, but you know, I love Falling in Reverse. Um, I have done since I'm Not a Vampire came out. That was my favorite, favorite song. That is still my favorite song of all time. Like, play a play me a song and. I will say, it's not going to be I'm Not a Vampire Revamped by Falling in, Rever in Reverse, because that is, in my opinion, the best song of all time. And so, I thought, with the best video of all time as well. But, I was thinking, you know what, they're, they're so fantastic about, you know, people reacting to them, and because this is the first time I've done a reaction video on Twitch. So I don't know what it's going to be like, what's, whether copyright and everything, but, you know, they seem perfectly fine with it. There's a load of different thing, people doing it um, for their other songs, so I was like, you know what, why not? I have three strikes left, so if I do get a strike, it's not the end of the world. So, so I thought I would go do it. It's called Zombified. Go check it out. Um, I am going to be giving them a view now anyway. But I'm already subscribed and everything, so it's all good. But you know, I'll be giving them a view here on this YouTube on this stream. But you go, go, give them a view. I would put the link, but I don't know how to do any of that. So anyway, um, enough said. Let's get into it. I cannot wait. It's called Zombified. Um, yeah, let's go into it. I hope that's coming up because I can't see any other stream. Right, let's do it. Not zombified. As always, the videos are gonna be so good. I can already tell. The store pages, fuck off. There you go. Boom. Is it up? I hope so. The videos always so good. Ads need to stop popping up, please. Oh. Start with some music. Good thing can attract the zombies. To the building. Oh, obviously kicking off fast and strong. Always good. Oh, I love it already. I mean. I mean, it's just, it's falling in the air, so. so good. Oh, okay. Okay. I think that's what I heard, right? I think the lyrics are down here. Um, probably. They normally are. Yeah, after here. Oh no, they'll never let go of something you said ten years ago. I heard that. I just thought that's absolutely fantastic. Because they really don't, do they? It's like, um, a lot of, like, people, celebrities, things like that, you see a lot of, like, YouTubers especially and things like that, you see a lot of people going, oh yeah, you see a lot of people going, oh yeah, this person said that, like, 12 years ago when nobody knew him and he had, like, three followers and probably two of those were his closest friends and one of them was a, was a bot that you know, try to sell him some sort of, you know, some something. So, you know, and then he, they make they make a joke, and then you know, people will go, "Oh my God, he said that like ten like all this time ago." It's like, a that was a very very different time, you know. It time expands, but also, you know, you know, nobody knew that you know it was gonna they were gonna expand like that. So. They're right, you know. You say anything on the internet, and it's going to be there forever in some aspect, even if you delete the post. There's still going to be people, especially if you're big enough, screenshotting it, spreading it around, you know, doing all that. You know, if you delete it when you're not big, then, you know, there's less chance of that. But you, you say it, you get big, 
then you delete it, there's a high chance that it's going to spread around. And that is the issue today, you know. We're comparing today with 10 years ago. That's a very long time of period where things change, you know. The the acceptance law or whatever it is, the statute that, you know, changed the whole, um, what's it called? Acceptance, not acceptance, but, you know, the whole, yeah, acceptance, I guess, of, you know, the protected character traits that you have. So you have, so like in college, you're not allowed to make jokes on people's, you know, gender or their sexuality or their race or anything like that. But that only came in in 2014. That was more than 10, that was less than 10 years ago. So 10 years ago, it was a lot different. And that's what they're saying here, because, you know, that law came in 20, 2014, not 2021, not um, 2001, not whatever, 2014, which is less than 10 years ago. And yet we're still comparing things from there. Yes, it might not have been acceptable back then, but there was a hell of a lot less scrutiny about it. And they are certainly trying to, you know, I don't want a zombie fight. Yeah. I love this so much. Oh yeah. Oh yes, and now I love that that not that shot, but this like the shots before where you had these people that were being you know it's like these cheerleaders like they're quite human acting they're acting quite human and then you've got this one who's you know seeing herself and is quite shocked and let's face it a lot of us you know a lot of people wouldn't necessarily you know, wouldn't necessarily want to think that the world's a terrible place. And then you go on Instagram and you go on all these, like, posts where everything is, you know, being spread about. You know, all these false statistics, most of the time, are being spread around against certain people, like, you know, stifling fear, really. And are all being shared on stories and everything. And then suddenly, that thought in your head starts... But what if it is true? What if it is true? And then suddenly, it it gains exposure, and it in your brain, and it just rents that place. And then, you know, you're there, just sort of hurdling in a corner, going, "Oh my God, everybody's out to get me! Oh my God, everybody's out to get me!" And then you're basically zombified. And I'm absolutely loving this, especially this shot here, because a lot of these people that you know do things like that. If they saw them, you know, on the outside, looking in, then that's probably how they would react. They're like, they probably wouldn't exactly like exactly act like that because they're not being, you know, actually zombified. But they would absolutely go, "What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you know, get yourself together." You know, <laughs> but yeah, and that's the beautiful thing about having a song with a video. It really adds to that it adds things that lyrics can't and things like this is a perfect example but let's get back into the song absolutely loving the song the message the video everything as always with falling in reverse they are just the best let's go And yeah, a lot of people, you know, do bite their tongue. A lot, of, a lot of these people, like, like they say, like they, they're called the silent, the silent majority, because, you know, the the majority of people aren't like that. Like a lot of the, um, like a lot of women and a lot of um, black people and trans people and things like that during all of these protests and especially like the more extreme cases they're like we don't want to be you know represented by these people you know these 
aren't the people who represent us. You know, we're not like this. You know, we don't we don't want all men to die, or we don't like you know think everybody's transphobic for not wanting to go out with us or anything like this. This is not how we are. This is just us. Not this is just this the loud mi minority, whereas you know the silent majority will be absolutely crucified if they go out against it. And you know I don't care. Ronnie Redke clearly doesn't care. So why should anybody else? You know, but yeah, a lot of people do bite their tongue, and that's why we are the silent minor uh, the silent majority because. So many people are biting their tongues, not wanting to get, you know, cancelled, not wanting to get, you know, jobs taken away. Because right now, you can literally have your job taken away for saying something like that, and it be taken the wrong way. Which is absolutely ridiculous, and, you know, your account can get banned, you, you can lose stuff and everything. That's the entire issue with this whole thing. Just because you said something out of context, to, or whatever the context is, doesn't mean you should lose your job. Because that's just making the silent the silent majority more of a majority than they already were before. So you're already creating a bigger problem. And then the loud minority are getting... are, are also getting bigger. So suddenly, you have these two sides. One of them is getting bigger, and, and yet having less of an impact and then you've got the other sides that are getting bigger but having more of an impact so they're both getting bigger but one's having an impact and the other isn't and this is all because people are biting their tongues and you know it's like we're all gonna become zombies you know it's like you know you see zombies with like their tongues ripping out and everything and like you know their bodies decaying it's like if we bite if we bite our tongues any longer, they're gonna start falling off. They're gonna start decaying. You know, we are gonna start becoming zombies and cannibals if we keep biting our tongues for too long, because you know they will eventually fall off. But you know, back to the back to the song. We're Oh, nice. oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes. This is such a good video. I nope. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's what I meant to do. Whoops. But I absolutely love if we go back a little bit, if we can. There, perfect. <laughs> you have the zombie with the fuck Ronnie Radke t-shirt on, and it's fantastic because, you know, so many of these people, you know, when they when they speak out, you, you, all of these people are just, you know, ripping you apart. And this is what this guy's trying to do, quite literally. But yeah, you just have all of these people, and I love the fact that, you know, they they added that in. A falling in reverse video. I absolutely love it. Go, we'll know you know, just absolutely <sighs> cancelling. Well, silencing those haters. I mean, I don't know whether that gun has a silence on it. Not by the sound of it, but you know, it's still silencing. <laughs> absolutely. Love it. Oh my god! What? Exactly! Oh my god! The zombies are being abducted by the aliens! Oh, what on earth is going on? This is why I love Bully the Reverse. They just come out of nowhere with this crazy ass video, it's amazing. Oh.
But yeah, after that, with this amazing shot of the car, I love the fact that there's so many zombies. You know, there's so many zombies and like three of them or four or five or I didn't really get a count. I didn't really count how many people there. But I love that fact because, you know, that's how it feels sometimes. You know, when you're one of... When you're the, one of the only ones there that can see clearly, like, especially if you're, like, on Instagram or something like that, and you're always seeing, like, all of these posts saying, oh, yeah, this is this is happening, like, you know, all of these people are, do, are you know, being convicted of this, and, you know, all of these people are bad, and, you know, all these people have said this and said that and done whatever, but, yeah. It can feel like that. All of these posts can just outnumber you. And they're not going to. They aren't. They aren't outnumbering you. But it can definitely feel like that. And that's, you know, why a zombie apocalypse is so good for this. Because, you know, it is sort of, it does sort of encircle you. Like, if you were in a zombie apocalypse and you were going to be, and you were being encircled, by a horde of zombies and yeah and it can feel like you're being outnumbered but you know there's always a way out of it but you know it's just such a cool idea and I absolutely love the song so far absolutely Oh, I was not paying attention to the video. <laughs> There's now a rock dragon. Oh my god. I absolutely love it. I love everything about it. I know I've said that a lot, but I so do. The, the chorus is so catchy. Like, you know, they're saying that, that, that you're going to be zombified. They're saying that you're going to be, you're being brainwashed and everything. But that will be in my brain till the day I die. <laughs> Probably. I absolutely love it. But, yeah. Like, first, bat, first off, I'm absolutely downloading that on Deezer right now. Absolutely no question about it. Right this second. And are we gonna be getting more um, falling in reverse songs? Are we getting more? Are we getting an EP? Are we getting an album? I hope so. I really, really do because since I've been a fan of them, they've only released these are the only two fan, only two videos they've released was I'm not a vampire revamped and this one. I might be wrong on that. No, I'm not, because they did the, um, because I thought they released a song and it was the Tour of the Unknown, but yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous, I absolutely love it, that video, chaotic as hell, and it's absolutely amazing, but anyway guys, um, there's the new song, you see there, I'm not a vampire, revamped, greatest song ever. Yeah, see, I've already liked it, I've subscribed, yeah, it's, I mean, as soon as you see, like, you know, I saw the notification, and then I went to click on it, and it said, like, I was like, absolutely, I like that, <laughs> I don't need to watch the video, I don't need to listen to the song, I already know I'm going to absolutely love it, and I cannot wait to see other reaction channels, um, reactions to it, because let's face it, you know, these, this sort of thing really gains traction on reactions. And yeah, I cannot wait to see, like, other people's reaction of the song. I always love watching, you know, reaction videos and things like that to music. And this one is going to be just so good. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Plus, I just realized it's got 4,828 views. 8.8 thousand likes. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway. 
with that 20 minutes long, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.